Hi there guys, this is Rob back for a second review and this time I thought I'd do G1 Motivator Flame I don't think there's any reviews up for this guy and I've had this since I was a kid and I've just recently completed it again because uh, through years of play I've misplaced the Brain Master it's somewhere in the loft I think but I sent another one cheap and thought I'd pick it up so this is now complete again and um, it's spent the last 18 years in the loft and unfortunately it's got lots of sticker wear and if Repro Labels ever do any stickers for this I'd definitely be buying some and um, it's a lovely little car mode, well it's quite big actually if I show you here, there's a G1 Blue Streak and uh, you can see it's quite a lot bigger but it's, uh, it fits in really well with the Headmasters and Target Masters from the mid to late 80s and this came out I think as a UK or European exclusive in the late 80s or early 90s which is why I got it when I was on holiday and I thought fantastic they're doing more of the Headmaster type Transformers that I liked from my childhood and that's what I remember and uh, what can we say really it's got this little sword here or blaster and that can be fixed to the roof like that if you wanted to, don't know why you would or at the sides maybe as storage or you can have it as it's quite stiff that attack mode that way which is pretty cool here's like a nice Lamborghini counter got to say the wheels of rubber and they roll really nice and if we open the cockpit here or roof Nice translucent blue plastic, and inside is the Brain Master. And it fits there, a little square hole. And it's a very squared off robot as well. You bend his legs, you can bend him back a bit if you wanted to. He really stands alright like that. His arms will move up and down, however you want. And this one has faded quite a bit. The plastic, what used to be pink, is now red, and the yellow is a bit pastier than it should be. I don't know if the bleach treatment would work on that or not. But this being in the loft for all those years is still as it was when I was a kid. It's got a few scratches on it. Transform it. It's very simple. Just pull that back. Pull the legs apart. And swing them around. And then the arms go up like that. And that's a really simple transformation for something this size. But that's because they were combiners. These are repaints from the Japanese... Road Caesar figures, and that's probably why they're a bit more simple. If you open this compartment here, this is the gimmick, a bit like the Headmasters, and you pop that guy in there like that, and then you clip that up, and the head slots into place. The face jumps up out the center of the little figure. I think that's really cool, and uh, the face sculpt is really nice. Maybe you can see the orange eyes, silver face there. That's a Pretty cool looking robot. It does look a bit sort of hunched up, but if you lift his arms up, he doesn't look too bad. And if you want to increase the articulation, just pop the windows back a little bit like that, and you can make his arms go up a bit if you wanted to. Again, the sword can be held like there or there, or maybe if you wanted to, you could have it the side which is pretty cool then you can hold another gun if you wanted to as well if you haven't got this figure I'd definitely say pick it up if you can if you're into G1 if you're into headmasters power masters and target masters these brain masters go really well with that although uh, these are called motivators the UK release and I think there was gripper and lightspeed as well and I'm not sure of the original names of these things laster braver and another one so <laughs> You can go check that out on TF Wiki. In size comparison, here's G1 Scourge. So you'll see what I mean. They're quite a good size for each other. And more modern comparison, the United Tracks. So he's quite a big figure. And um, there's not a lot more I can say about that really. If you like him, pick him up. If you don't, don't. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Please hit subscribe and thanks to those guys that already have subscribed. I'll be doing some more videos, hopefully over the next couple of days, maybe do another couple in a minute or two. 
So thanks very much. Cheers. Take care.